Welcome to the Bucknuts Morning 5 here on Monday, January 18th, 2016. I am Dave Biddle, and I am joined by, who else, the Dean of Ohio State Football Recruiting, Bill Curlick. Happy MLK Day to everybody, but Bill and I are, of course, working, and it's a huge day for Buckeye recruiting. Bill, let's start out with Ben Victor, the four-star wide receiver out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. He will announce today at noon. Is there any drama here, or do you feel like you have a pretty good grasp on where young Mr. Victor will be attending college? Well, uh, let me say that uh, this could be a great day for Ohio State. Uh, there's, there's no question about it. Uh, um, you know, I, I think um, if, if you look at the crystal ball, it takes away a lot of the drama, that's for sure. Uh, I have crystal balled, uh, been victim to Ohio State, as have uh, others today. And, um, again, you know, you always wait for the announcement, but um, I, I think – that the crystal ball uh, says a lot uh, of what Buckeye fans are hoping to hear. Yeah, it sounds really, really good. And he's going to announce just on Twitter. He's not calling a press conference or anything. Is that correct? He's just going to announce on Twitter at noon today, right? That is correct. He's going to announce on Twitter at noon today. Uh, He says his decision is down to Ohio State, West Virginia, and Tennessee. He just got back from an official visit to Tennessee uh, of course, he made the in-season official visit to Ohio State, and uh, as we reported at the time, that visit went very, very well for the Buckeyes, and uh, he's a guy that's been to Ohio State a number of times um, up here in the summer for the FBU camp that was held at Dublin Jerome High School and all, so he is more than familiar with Ohio State. Yeah, I remember seeing him at Friday Night Lights uh, a couple summers ago. I mean, he is... Such a talented kid, and um, I do want to add this. I noticed Michael Thomas, now former Buckeye receiver, welcomed Ben Victor to the fold last night and said, and also gave the emoji of a lock. So Mike Thomas thinks he's a lock. Bill Curlick will never use that. But I remember seeing Ben Victor, and so impressive in person. Tall, fast receiver. I mean, that's, there's a lot to like there. Probably needs to add a little bit of, of strength, but that's probably the case for most high school kids. But Bill, tall, and, fast. And, yeah, and you know and you know, Dave, as as talented as he is on the field, as you're as you're talking about, he's a heck of a fine young man too. Very very polite kid. Uh, you know, he's the kind of kid you want in your program, not only for a, from a talent standpoint, but the kind of young man he is. Absolutely, number twelve wide receiver in the country according to the twenty four seven Sports Composite, number eighty five overall player, high four star. So this is going to be a, a big get for the Buckeyes. And I like the fact that he's just no frills, just going to announce on Twitter, no hat game, nothing like that. Okay, moving on, another big get that would uh, absolutely um, be huge for Ohio State, Keandre Jones, a high four-star outside linebacker, number nine outside linebacker in the country, number 105 overall player in the country, according to the 24-7 Sports Composite. Bill, it sounds like he's going to flip from Maryland to Ohio State. Is that almost a done deal in your mind? Well, let me say that I love where Ohio State stands with him right now. Um, you know, the, uh, the, there was a Twitter report last night that uh, he had flipped from Maryland to Ohio State. Um, you know, he has not confirmed that, nor has any family member, uh, nor a coach at his school confirmed it to this point. But, uh, again, I, I will say that uh, uh, as I started the show off with, you know, we don't know when exactly Keandre is going to announce anything, um, how he's going to do it or anything along those lines. Uh, but certainly I, I would not rule out, at least right this minute, based on what we know, I would not rule out today. We don't know for sure that it's going to be today. But, again, it, it, you know, it could be a red-letter day for Ohio State. could be any time between today and, and signing day, right, Bill? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But uh, uh, certainly I'm uh, – um, if I'm an Ohio State fan, I'm feeling good. Absolutely. And another prospect to feel good about, one we've talked about for the last few weeks, but Dwayne Haskins, the quarterback, still could, technically a Maryland. I don't think he's even decommitted yet for Maryland, even though it seems to be the writing is on the wall there. Um, what's the latest with Dwayne Haskins? Where do you think he will end up picking, and when is he going to announce? 
Well, again, uh, let me say that uh, Dwayne Haskins is a guy that uh, I've had crystal balled to Ohio State for a little while now. Um, He is, as you mentioned, still committed to Maryland. Uh, Did make a surprise unofficial visit to Maryland this past weekend, and uh, was at the Ohio State-Maryland basketball game, and it's probably a good thing that he's going the football direction in college rather than the basketball direction. We uh, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, but he, he is definitely going the football direction in college. And, um, yeah, again, I, I, I have felt very good about Dwayne Haskins in terms of Buckeye Nation and him being a Buckeye for a little while now. And, uh, again, we don't know for sure uh, when, if, if and when he is going to make any type of uh, – how or he's going to make an announcement or anything along those lines. But, again, you know, if he were to decide to announce a flip today to Ohio State, it would just go down as, as being a great, great day in Ohio State football recruiting history. Boy, Maryland fans are going to want to put a hit out on Urban Meyer. Or maybe they're, they're going to want to put a hit out on D.J. Durkin. I don't know, but Maryland fans have to be beside themselves right now, Bill. Well, yeah, I mean, that's, uh, you know, uh, D.J. Durkin and his staff have done, uh, when you look at uh, things that they've taken over at Maryland, you know, they've done a good job. Uh, they, they've had attracted some top prospects to visit Maryland. And, uh, you know, the, if you look at the, everything as a whole, things have gone well for Maryland recruiting since they have taken over. But, you know, it's kind of ironic that they haven't gone well in terms of uh, Dwayne Haskins and Keandre Jones. Um, so uh, it's kind of a mixed bag for D.J. Durkin because, again, Haskins and Jones are two kids from the state of Maryland and two of the country's elite prospects at their positions. Real quick, uh, Juco defensive tackle Jamar King, I know he took a visit to Ohio State. What does your gut say here? Do you think King is kind of a long shot, or do you think that – there's a good chance he will be a Buckeye, Bill. I think a lot of that depends on how hard Ohio State decides to push for Jamar King. You know, there, there's absolutely no question that the, the number one guy on the board would be Rashard Lawrence. And yep. he is going to announce his decision on Friday. You know, how could he not be the number one guy on your board? I mean, he's, he's about as, just about as good as a, in, in the entire country when it comes to defensive tackle prospects. Just a man among boys playing uh, at the high school level. He's going to announce on Friday, and uh, Urban Meyer, Greg Schiano, and Larry Johnson are going to make their in-home visit with him this week. So, uh, you know, he's the guy that uh, if somehow Urban can pull that one off, it could go down as one of the great coups in uh, in Urban's recruiting history, and that says a lot. So uh, I, I think with Jamar King, uh, again, it's going to somewhat depend on how hard Ohio State goes after him, and, and that in turn could depend on what happens with Rashard Lawrence. Uh, Urban has said they have room for four or five more prospects in this recruiting class, and if, in fact, they do land Victor, Haskins, and uh, Jones, that takes three of the four to five right there. You know they want another defensive tackle in the class, and you know it, it could fill up very, very quickly, so... Uh, you know, we'll have to kind of see what happens there uh, with Rashard Lawrence by the end of the week. And last thing before I let you go, so you can write about 100 more uh, recruiting stories for the site today. Right now, Ohio State has the number three recruiting class in the country, according to the 24-7 Sports Composite, 18 commitments. My question for you, sir, is if they get Ben Victor today, they get Keandre Jones at some point, and they get Dwayne Haskins at some point, let's say they don't get Lawrence, but they get those three and maybe a couple more, in your mind, if that happens, are they probably going to finish with the number one recruiting class in the country? Well, you don't know exactly who uh, each of the other schools are going to end with. Um, obviously, one of the schools to, to watch is Michigan with with uh, Rayshon Gary. If he goes to Michigan, that gives them, uh, you know, the, the, uh, a huge boost in the recruiting rankings. Uh, you, you don't know exactly how LSU is going to finish there. They uh, certainly could get Rashard Lawrence, you know, and you don't know how some of the other top schools are going to finish either. But if Ohio State gets these three and then adds one or two more prospects, and there are still a few other great prospects, Jordan Fuller uh, could go Ohio State, could go to Michigan. I like Ohio State's chances. But if Ohio State gets these three 
and they get Jordan Fuller, for instance, then you're talking about a legitimate uh, chance to finish number one in the country, no question about that. You mentioned Rashawn Gary. Do you think he's going to go to Michigan or elsewhere? Uh, my gut feeling right now is Michigan. You know, I don't think it's over by any stretch of the imagination, but if I had to make a prediction right this minute, I would say Michigan. Great stuff, as always, from the Dean of Ohio State Football Recruiting, Bill Curlick. Thank you so much, Bill. Thanks to the listeners out there for tuning into the show. I hope everybody has a great MLK Day. Take it away, best damn band in the land. Five, five, five.